In today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 must-have Chanel handbags. Hello, my name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. This was a requested video from a lovely subby. She wanted to know if I had to choose 10 handbags from Chanel, which is my favorite fashion house, 10 handbags regardless of price, availability, which ones would I actually go for and why? And so I'm gonna pick my top 10 and some of which I do own and some I don't. And I'm gonna explain why I would pick them as well as rank them. By the way, I'm quite dressed up and I absolutely have nowhere to go as per usual, but I just feel like I bought this dress because I wanted to wear it this year. And of course, with the situation right now, there's nowhere to go. So I'm wearing it in my videos and I got dolled up and I love it. I have my fancy earrings on. So my very first pick is actually a classic flap. I have right here on my hands, the jumbo classic flap in the single flap. So I won't necessarily suggest the jumbo size. I would suggest the medium large size. So the size down from this, you can easily go from day to night with the classic medium large simply because I find that it is the most universal size. It is also the most coveted handbag size and the most coveted bag in the history of Chanel handbags. I know that this opinion is very different from what I usually say on my channel because I don't even own a medium large myself. Part of the reason why I don't have the handbag is because of the <laughs> tremendous price but also because I personally don't mind seasonal bags. So even though I don't have the most classic of classic handbags, I don't mind, but I just suggest that as a first choice, if you were to just start your collection from scratch, for example, or if you just wanted to know my 10 top picks and in the order that I pick them, I would suggest essentially a classic flap. So if I had the opportunity to restart from scratch, regardless of price and availability, I would go for a medium large classic flap in my favorite color, probably in gold hardware, just cause I think it's a little bit more luxurious for our first handbag, a black or maybe a shade of gray. I think that would be an amazing first Chanel handbag. My second choice is to go for a Chanel classic mini flap, whether you go with the square or the rectangle, it does not matter. And I particularly will choose a black one in caviar, especially because this handbag ends up being my most used and my most favorite Chanel handbag, I guess. I constantly get asked this question, which one is your favorite Chanel handbags? I love them all, honestly, and I almost cannot choose, but I do think that I end up using this one the most. It is the most versatile, even though it is a mini, but I really do end up using this one a lot, even when I travel. One of the most versatile style of handbags that Chanel makes. This can be dressed down, can be dressed up. It can also be your evening bag. It is slightly casual, so it is still a good evening bag, but more for like an informal evening. But I just simply love the mini size classic flap. You can never go wrong with it. I wish that they did offer it in caviar again. As of right now, everything is still going to be in lambskin. We don't have any more news as to when it will come back in caviar, although they do once in a while have like a seasonal piece that is similar to a classic mini flap in the caviar leather and it might just be a little different. It might not have a pocket in the back. It might be a different class, that type of thing. But essentially, I would go for a mini flap in black because black is just the most versatile. You get the most use out of it and then you end up basically getting your money's worth because you use it so much. The third pick that I would go for is another classic mini flap, but this time I would actually choose it in a color. So whatever your favorite color is, if it happens to be pink, blue, yellow, it does not matter, purple, just go with your favorite color because I feel like black is amazing, obviously, to start off. For the majority of people, black is definitely the safest choice. But after that, I would definitely go for a color because mini flaps are just so fun and you can just wear them anytime. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, and they actually fit enough for me. They're so versatile, so I definitely would not feel happy enough to just own one mini. I have to at least have two minis, and the second one has to be in an extraordinary color that I love. So right here on my hand, I have the raspberry red, although it does not appear raspberry red on camera. I'm gonna have to fix the white balance still on my camera, but you guys get the idea. It's just 
such an amazing little bag. I would get multiples and more mini bags if I could, but I'm trying to limit myself to really the ones that really make my heart sing. Are you ready for my fourth pick? Because I don't think that you would have expected what I picked. And it is the Chanel 19 handbag. Let me know down below if you've been surprised that I picked this at number four, which is pretty high up on the list. Now, the reason why I picked the Chanel 19 is because we have our classic flap. It's a little serious. We have our mini flaps. They're less serious, but they're mini bags. Once I get those, I definitely want something that's a little bit more casual, a little bit more everyday wear, and something that is not as serious. The look itself is a little bit more edgy. It can be a little bit more dressed down, grungy, and you can still dress up, but I'm just saying that it's just a trendier piece and with fashion, you always want to have a little bit of fun and just more versatility depending on what you feel like wearing that day or depending on what where you're going, what the occasion is. So I definitely feel that at number four, the Chanel 19 is, is a must have. Like I wouldn't want to be stuck with just a classic flop in my collection. Honestly speaking, I would not have minded getting this as my first handbag. Honestly speaking. And that is because I know how much wear and how much uh, use I get out of this. But just from a logical standpoint, I feel like the classic one and the most coveted one should be the one to get first. But then right after that, I really think that I cannot wait that much longer before I get my 19. So for you, it could be the 19, it could be the boy bag, depending on what style you prefer. But as of right now, I think the 19 is not only just very trendy and very hot still, but the capacity, the fact that it's mushy, it's just a lot more user-friendly and I don't know, it's more modern. So I would pick the 19 still versus the boy bag, for example. Along the lines of the same train of thought, my next pick would be the Gabrielle handbag. And I would specifically go with the small size. That's only because it's my preference. I do think that the size up from this, which is the new medium, is pretty amazing as well. Casual everyday bags ends up being the most used, usually for most people. In my case, it is anyway. As another casual bag or as another everyday bag that you can downsize a little bit, but not to the point where you have to downsize as much as the mini. I am a big fan of the Gabrielle to begin with which is why it is not too far down the list for me because I'm just a big fan of the style itself. I do prefer it in the small size for me because it is quite a structured bag. Wear and tear wise, this bag has done phenomenally for me. I do have quite a few reviews and updated review videos on it. So definitely check it out if you're wondering. But aside from that, I find that the small size or the smallest size is just probably the easiest to avoid extra wear and tear but I also prefer the small just because I like the look of it a lot more on me it's a personal preference obviously but nevertheless the Gabrielle is definitely one of the top choices for me my next choice is also a relatively new handbag in my collection and it is the trendy CC in the small size so right here I have it in the black I would probably just pick it in the same exact color black and gold. I would probably go with black with the Gabrielle and the Chanel 19 also just because for these styles of bags, I just find that it is the most stunning when it's black against the gold hardware. It definitely took me a long time to realize that I needed a Chanel Trendy CC in my collection. No, I have not used it, not even one bit. It is a lambskin bag. It is a little bit more delicate than, you know, compared to your Caviar Classic or even compared to the 19. So there is probably a learning curve for those who are not familiar with the leather, but in general, the style itself, I feel like once you own all the other ones, at that point, you're probably ready for it anyway, because not only do you have enough handbags to rotate anyway, this is just one of those pieces that you cannot resist, right? Just look at it. The fact that it looks like a little briefcase, the fact that it looks so classic, the fact that it looks classic, but still has the trendy bar on the front. Uh, on the top, I mean, it is just an absolutely stunning piece, which is going to be hard to say no to. The Trendy CC is just as expensive as the Classic, maybe just a little under. But I just feel like at this point in your collection, you're probably going to want something like this anyway. A nice top handle. There's something about lambskin being a material that you get to appreciate more over time and also uh, that you get to learn to accept and that you get to 
want at one point in your life you do have to baby it a little bit you, you're not supposed to get it wet people like us who have an affinity for luxury but we do save up for it and we are careful with our things in general you're gonna be careful with your luxury bags anyway so it's not really a, a much further step up from how you would have to treat your handbags anyway so it's it's kind of like a natural transition this is just a style that I'm very attracted to which is why I would recommend it as part of the top 10 picks and yeah I just yeah I, I just I just really like it <laughs> my next pick is the cocoa handle I have right here my mini cocoa handle in the gray color from I don't even remember the season from this because it's just an absolutely stunning piece. I think it's 19P, so from last year, Spring Summer Act 1. Yeah, I think pre I'm pretty sure it is. So recently they've come up with the lilac, the baby pink that is very similar uh, to this one, meaning that it's very, very light color and it does have a gray undertone. It is absolutely stunning. It is my favorite cocoa handle. I know what you're thinking though. Why is it so far down my list? It's not because I don't like the cocoa handle, but I'm just trying to prioritize the logical purchases. I just feel like cocoa handles, they do come out quite often. I think they used to alternate seasons more far apart before you could get a hold of a cocoa handle. But I think this style has gotten so, so prevalent and so popular that it's just, it just feels easier to get. So that's why I don't think I would put it as high of a priority. I would rather get the stuff that's like definitely classic, definitely that I would reach for a lot. Uh, the cocoa handle is also a style that I don't end up wearing as much as I thought I would. It is still amazing though, but just between this and the mini, I prefer going with the mini like as an everyday or as a whatever occasion handbag because literally you can wear a sweatshirt like you can be that casual when you wear the mini whereas with the cocoa handle I feel like it's too feminine to do that my point is just the style itself doesn't lend itself to be as versatile to uh, be worn as often so that is why it is further down on my list I also want to point out that if a special color comes out in a season that you absolutely love then i would not care about the order and just get it first because once it's gone then it's gone meaning once the color is gone then it's very very hard to get a hold of especially if it's that specific color that they came out that specific season so you have room to rearrange the order obviously uh, i'm just putting it at number seven just because uh, you know like you saw my logic basically it is a great bag it is a really pretty bag it is a, an amazing bag right and the price point of this one is still the most affordable given how much bag you get and given how classic the style looks so for the cocoa handle i would still keep it at this size which is the smallest they call it the mini before now they call it the small basically the smallest size i like the smallest size because I don't actually think that I would end up using a larger size of the cocoa handle for everyday wear anyway, so it's kind of pointless for me to get the size up. I also think that this, the mini size is just the cutest size ever, and it does fit a little bit more than the mini flaps. The next handbag that I'm going to suggest is actually one that I no longer own, and it is a Deauville Chanel tote. I used to own the denim one in the large size, so it has two different handles. And while it is such a cool bag, it is just way too large. If I were to redo everything, I would just pick the smallest size. I would go with that if I wanted fabric, or I would just wait for a season where they release the leather version, so the caviar version, and just pick the small size of those. The reason why I went with a tote at this stage is because I feel like you have all these beautiful handbags in your collection at this point, you might need a much larger bag considering you don't have any other brands for example and you're just focused on Chanel I would add a tote at this point I don't think it's that high on the priority unless you do end up using totes a lot so you could change up the priority for yourself personally speaking I only use totes for specific errands on days that I'm out and about the entire day for example and I might just want to be able to 
fill my bag to the brim. So those are the days where I would typically need a tote, which is why it's quite low on my list. I don't usually prefer to carry larger bags anymore anyway, because they tend to get heavy. So a Deauville tote or some sort of Chanel tote, I guess, that suits you, that you love, would be a good choice at this point. Next, I would pick some sort of bucket bag from Chanel. So bucket bags are seasonal bags at the Chanel Fashion House. So every other season will be completely different. They will never really be exactly the same because these are not classic pieces from the house. So pick and choose the ones with the features that you like. I have right here the one from 19B, which is really, really amazing and really beautiful. And for me, this bag has all the features that I like. I chose to pick a bucket bag at this point in the collection because I feel like you've got everything, you even got a tote. Why not get something that's seasonal, that is uh, fun and still practical, especially with flap bags. You always have to contend with the flap, with the closure. So yes, we have one tote, but sometimes you don't really need a large tote to go around town. So a bucket bag is kind of another option. It's, it's another option where you can get anything uh, at a glance really easily because the fastening is usually a drawstring so it's pretty easy to get in and out of but it's still fun it's still practical it's still uh, it's still chanel and then uh it's just another layer of practicality something that you can rely on on probably on a daily basis as an everyday bag even though chanel bucket bags are seasonal they just have this look anyway they have this look that you cannot not like basically it's it's something that still attracts you for some reason so i would recommend some sort of bucket seasonal bags at this point a handbag that i definitely missed out on and it is basically an exquisite piece like a collector's piece or a piece that you just simply love just to have it in your collection that you could also use but it's an exquisite just fantastic piece so we're talking about pearl bags sequin bags uh, tweed bags maybe so just one that is gonna take your breath away that you absolutely just love owning just something that is so stunning and so different from anything else in my case i would pick a beautiful pearl handbag and the one that got away is the one that came out in the spring summer 2019 collection that became extremely popular and extremely unicorned extremely coveted and so that is pretty much the only one that i i guess i regret not having considered it at the time and now i <laughs> i definitely will the next time similar to what i spoke about the coco handle if at any particular season they come up with a piece like that that just takes your breath away, do not hesitate and do not wait. Just get it because you just don't know when it's going to come back and you just don't even know if they're going to reissue anything even similar to what you like in the colorways that you like. So uh, the orders can still change, like I said, but I just put it right at the end because for most people, the most common bags are the ones that you use the most and that you get the most cost for wear, which makes a lot of sense, right? Not only do we want to curate things that makes our heart sing, but we also need to make sense financially. We also need to make sense, uh, practically speaking. Those are what I would consider must-haves in one's collection. It could be different for you. So let me know down below how you're liking my selection. What would you do differently? I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new here, I would love to have you back. So please do consider subscribing and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.